So in the second section of this series on the Twine of Sixth Form website built in SharePoint, we're going to look at the courses section of the website and we can get to here through clicking on courses. And this brings up this carousel system which we've had designed and which has proved extremely popular with the students. Just allow students to see the courses running around and then they can literally stop them, allow them to move on, slow down the pace and they can actually change direction so the carousel can work both directions. Then they're able to click on any of the courses. It brings up again another quite visual page which gives just some key information about the course and the syllabus and also the requirements to join the course. When students want to find out more and indeed parents, they can click on course information and they're greeted with perhaps one of the most text um, based areas of the site, one of the few text based areas of the site which shows the course information. There's also a video running here and we have these on each of the pages and it shows a student who is currently undertaking the course either in year 12 or year 13 and actually giving a broad overview of the course, the requirements and reasons really why you should study it and the value of it. And going beyond there, each of the, each of the courses has these sections. The real power that we like about the website and the way it's been built is that it's possible for administrators to maintain this site without any technical input. So you notice with my login, I actually have an edit button that only a few people will see who look after the site. When I click on edit, it actually brings up the equivalent of the back end of the site. So all the core information you've just seen and the two columns of detail within the course information. And then at the bottom, you can see the various images and the video that are used on the pages. These are all available for administrators to uh, amend and in the case of the images in the video they can just be deleted if a new video or image is to be used and then by attaching the file selecting it and adding it to the system it actually changes the video or the image. So anybody who's put in charge of the site to administer it can do it without any technical knowledge and that's the second part of the Twinum 6 form website built in SharePoint.